Bup, 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 bup. Hey guys! It's time for District 17's official player guide. For any of you who are a new visitor or those who just don't watch this series, which is fine. I'm not offended. I still love you. This is a guide to let you know basically what's going on within this world, this 3D. Think of it like a, a, a Matrix or a video game, right? You're the protagonist. You're surrounded by NPCs, non-playable characters. Remember that. Um, consider the NPCs individuals who do not have souls. Not everybody has one. And not many do. You know? So, keep that in mind, you are trying to find a way to manipulate through that, find little features that'll help you get through it. We're going on to Chapter 5, The Ace of Pentacles, y'all. So, let us get this started. Also, there will be aggros and triggers. What aggro is, is kind of like World of Warcraft, where like, if you get so close to an enemy, it triggers them, or you do something that gets their attention in order to be agitated. I'm giving you all these definitions because some people will not know what I'm talking about when I get into this reading. So I'm just letting you know. So the aggro triggers are always there. The NPCs are here and we're figuring out what's going on with y'all. Now the energy guiding you right now is the star wanting to communicate. Players, what's influencing the energy? The queen of cups. Someone who's trying to offer a cup of love while you're sitting over here pouring a big ass pitcher out like I don't know that was kind of immature I'm sorry but I thought it was fun <laughs> so let's see I don't know why I drew square anyway what do the NPCs see a victor six of wands hmm What's their aggro trigger? What'll, what will they do? Oh, they'll look good over you. Be like, oh, you're a victor? Well, I'm a goddamn queen. What? With the attitude. Standing proud. Standing tall. I feel like they all act like they, they won't need you, players. Or they'll come off very um, strong, very in their element, very much like, I rule this bitch, you know? They will put up the defense that they are the ones in charge, I feel like. You know. Cheat codes and walkthroughs right here. Hmm. Permit reversed. This deck, it's like isolating, hiding from the light because it's too much. Hmm. Maybe some of these NPCs... Either them or, or you, one of the two, player. But it's like someone's being noticed for being a bit isolated, being a bit too far away, which could put deten la, 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 if I could talk today, thank you. Which could potentially be a problem for sure. Move these over here some, because I know I'm gonna need the room. Oh my God, really? Okay, there, there you go. Are you happy now? <laughs> All right, I shouldn't talk shit to my car. Don't beat my ass. Alrighty. Hidden levels, bonuses, or influences player. Knight of Wands reverse. Alright, so check it out. These NBCs you might be dealing with, and mind you, NBCs are not evil. They're just non playable characters. They're not soul filled people like some people are, you know. Like, some people, I mean, it's kind of like um, Blade Runner. You really can't tell. Unless there's like some tests you perform, kinda, but not with the thingy, uh, that almost looks like a penis. Um, I don't know why it always looks like that to me, but it does. It says something about me. Anyway. But what I'm seeing here is, uh, all these hidden levels and bonuses and influences. It's this energy of like maybe wanting to talk shit but not really trying to start conflict. So it's like you can communicate with this person. They'll stand nice and proud, but I don't feel like players, these NPCs, are going to be hostile towards you. They might be actually coming to offer you something of sorts. Let's see. Hidden treasures and enemies. Five of Pentacles, reverse. 
Blair, I think this is an NPC you dealt with before that you no longer deal with. I mean, let me be clear. Um, NPCs can always get a soul at any time. I always believe that anybody... Holy shit. That was like some... Oh, the morning shit. Holy fuck. Let's turn this down just a smidge. There we go. It's not as bad. That shit was kind of intense. My bad, guys. Anyway, yeah. I feel like this. you've dealt with this NPC before. And it's like they have this kind of resolve of wanting to come back to you, players. Or deal with you. But they're going to stand proud. But I don't think they're going to try to fight you. Alright. Final boss and their weakness. Bad judgment. <laughs> Something not getting resurrected. Hmm. Something might not have even been called as a particularly awesome idea. Like, look at this. It's like there's a victor, but they're also hiding a little bit of shame. And it's like... You know. Like, in order to be victorious, you're gonna have to deal with whatever it is that's bothering the fuck out of you, players. Because I feel like this is you. A little bit. Feeling like, oh, I need to stay here. That's the wrong judgment to have right here. That's the boss you're gonna be dealing with is your own self-doubt. Especially when dealing with this NPC. Because I feel like you almost want to come back in from the cold with them as well. Mind you, this doesn't even have to be an NPC, but... At this point, it is, so we're going with it. Ah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, she wants to give you a cup because she wants to come back in from the cold, players. The influence of the energy and the hidden treasures and enemies. This is like... Hmm. Anyway. Spoils, item drops, rewards. Ooh. Two cards popped out really quick. Um, someone keeping their guard up emotionally, possibly cancer, and a tower moment coming. Hmm. Almost like recognizing keeping your shell in, or your shell up, is uh, going to be what kills this illusion. Someone hasn't hit reality yet. The other person has, though, but I don't know. Has something to do with this. Alright, spoils, item drops, rewards. King of Swords. Air energy, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Coming for truth, seeking some truth, looking for truth, talking that truth, talking that shit, you know? Alright. <laughs> Next level spoiler. King of Pentacles reverse. Ew. We did have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, because this is all about an offer, and it's a powerful offer, too. But now we got this King of Pentacles reversed. Earth energy, right? Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo type. Someone who feels like they're owed something, or they're a bit of a scammer. A little bit of a swindler, if you will. Or a loan shark, at worst. I feel like he's very frivolous with his fundage, too. Hmm. Well, players, let's get into this read, all right? Okay. Yeah, this might be something that's felt owed as well. Okay, so, players. Yeah, you want to communicate, possibly resurrect something with this energy guiding you? Which is weird, because it's right over here, but, you know, that doesn't matter. Um, you feel like you're at a crossroads with it, though, and you are still watching for snakes, player. You're just like, hmm. It's just like, yeah, this is definitely something to do with you in this uh, little game right here. Dealing with an NPC that, um, or even just a, another person who um, wants to come back to you. But you're looking at them like, hmm. I'm still watching you, Rhonda. You fucking snake, bitch. <laughs> it's just like, do I... Like, I don't think it's a it's a cruel thing to do, but it's like you're assessing the situation, player, before you step forward. This 
Queen of Cups right here in the, influ the influence of the energy. Someone has the right idea or clarity as they're making this offer. Um, in order to move forward from a disaster, I feel like they left behind. Um, but I feel like they're binding themselves. Like they put themselves in a situation that I feel like their hands are tied and trying to deal with. This is the in energy influ this is the influence of the energy. It's like someone wants to make an offer player and I don't think actually that this is you. And if it is you, eh. But this energy guiding you is telling you that you want to resurrect things, but you're also watching a person. But it's almost like this person's coming to you with the cup, not you with this cup right now over here with what the NPC see which is a, a victor right here um someone was really bad with offering shit and had their back turned right something that did not work in the past as they learned before with the king of pentacles who's also over here hmm Give me like a second, y'all, because I'm actually kind of looking at this like, hmm, there's so many ways. It's almost like, you know, they see you as victorious players, even after all the shit that they sent your way. And it didn't work out. You're still kind of like, you know, king of pentacling it up. It's still a victor. But what's weird is that he's the next chapter. Ew, crazy, right? All right. What's their aggro trigger? What's this person's shit? Being hung Like, they'll stay in this uh, queen of wands position where they're looking good, right? But they're really hung up. Like, literally on the fucking ceiling with all these ten of swords right here. Like... They know how to stand pretty even when they're suffering, which is crazy because that's a fire sign and fire signs will like just explode for nothing. <laughs> yeah. um, feels like they don't want to wait for something that, you know, they're hung up. They feel like it's not worth waiting for something that isn't great or fruitful. Yeah. He popped out, you know, this dude, and I think they're waiting to, for him to give an offer, but I also think that, like, they think that he's going to say some shit, too. Yeah, I think that's what they're anticipating if you approach this person, player, because she just stands there. She's waiting, but she's also, like, dealing with shit which she thinks isn't going to be fruitful. I think she thinks that, like, it, you might be an earth sign, first of all, but this person is kind of like, this NPC is almost expecting you to approach them with some bullshit you know they don't see any of this going to happen or you riding in to make an offer they see you coming in talking some shit a lot of it you know, like, i just think it's funny how blah 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 you know just coming in with nonsense coming in with dramatics and nobody wants to deal with that shit you know like, nobody wants to deal with it at all but they do think of you and them so maybe they just don't have a lot of faith right hmm like th like this NPC is definitely um interested in you but I feel like they're the kind who's going to be sitting there thinking like they need to be one or some shit maybe they make an offer to you at some point and uh, but I feel like they wouldn't know how to go about it so it's like it freak you out and then like after you had time to think about it be like oh shit I, I fucked up and then it's like hmm Okay. But I don't know. That's just... I'm, I'm feeling that for some reason. Anyway. Hidden levels, bonuses, or... No, I already did... Wait. Yeah, this is cheat codes and walkthroughs. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't mind me. I'm just dumb occasionally. And I lose my place. Um, uh, you know, you... Player with these cheat codes and walkthroughs, um, you're kind of in a position where you're in the dark about a lot of things, and I and I mean like you're literally in the dark. You're hiding from the light. You don't want to come out and shit because it's like when you were when there was light all around. It's like 
you looked at this person as if they were uh, this NPC as if they were uh, important, but now it's kind of like you know, like do I really want to put my any options into you, you f floating glowing bitch with a face? You know, like I, like I don't know. It's like you got to go in the dark and realize that maybe this person isn't the best option for you, or is no option at all. You know, they're just going to leave you feeling like a fool a little bit, players. Which would probably force you into the dark. You know? And then they'd have everyone come against you like a little bitch. What the fuck? Like, you know, they, they would find a way to make you stay a fool and take your victory away from you. But this, but I feel like this is also a fear. This cheat code and walkthrough players... Maybe you also realize that, like, this, pers this person, this NPC or whatever, um, they might feel this way about you as well, but I don't think so. I think this is mainly you and possibly something you dealt with before. Did they really steal the Ocarina of Time opening theme? Oh my god. Waste of space. Make your own music. Music. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, um... There was some idolization at some point, and then, like, someone's kind of snapped out of it, realized that, like, they were being made a fool of, and people turned against them, and it was like, it, there was a period of isolation players that you dealt with where somebody you trusted a lot probably fucked you over, and that's probably this NPC, and I feel like this NPC feels absolutely guilty for what they've done. But they don't know how to read you, I think. It's like that. It's like they don't know how... Um, I'm not sure. It's so weird. It's like they're completely lost in the sauce now to approach you because they don't know... I don't know. Like, maybe they want to make an offer for you, but they're so hung up on betrayal and shit and how it led to nothing. That's what it really feels like. I feel like it led to, like, absolutely nothing. They wasted their time on nothing. And they should have made an offer. And it's like, you're over here, player, just kind of, like, going through this period of darkness where you're figuring out, uh, you know what? This person did a lot of Jake shit to me, I have to say. A lot of Jake stuff. You know, a lot of greasiness. You know, it's like a fucking bacon from Burger King. It's never cooked all the way and it's greasy as shit. That's the kind of greasy we're talking about in my house, okay? So, accept it. Okay. Alrighty. Hidden levels, bonuses, or influences, right? Alright, look it. So, we got the Knight of Wands over here. And mind you, um, you're up here thinking, wanting to communicate about possibly resurrecting something with somebody, but you're worried they're still a fucking snake. This person, I think that they're... They know that they... They're so hung up on shit because it didn't lead to anything, and they, I think they do want to make an offer. And over here, it's like this is the Knight of Wands, but it's like he's just yelling. He's like, yeah! Or whatever, I don't know. Like that one governor did. I can't remember his name, but it was like, it was so cool. Uh, this person doesn't want to battle, I feel. They don't want the actual conflict. Maybe they want words. Maybe they would just want to pop off. Sure, right. Go ahead and do that. That's all up to you, right? But the person on the inside isn't worried too much anymore. After feeling like this NPC, I feel like they were bested by. Like, there, it could have been a group of NPCs. It could have been one. Whoever this Queen of Wands is representing to you, players... But it's like, it, it, like down here, it's kind of like, you know, they're not expecting a, a sort of conflict with you. Because I feel like they think that you might have gotten over a portion of things for the most part. Especially the best in, especially feeling like you were down on your hands and knees. Like a good little girl. I'm sorry, that just came out. All right, Malachite, no. Okay, sorry about that. That was, just, that was just a slip up. But 
This tower still hasn't hit. Either one. Players, I think you and this person are going to end up together, but it's going to be a long, complicated, emotional... Bullshit kind of thing, because that's what I'm really getting here. It's kind of like you're dealing with an NPC this time, with this Ace of Pentacles, or a group of NPCs, if you will. Or hell, even just regular actual people, right? You know, all these motherfuckers, or at least one motherfucker, who um, has this Ace of Pentacles energy within this entire read about making an offer. And then we got the Queen of Cups right here. We got the Knight of Pentacles right here. We have several things demonstrating that something needs to be offered, right? And I think they have a crush on you, and it's really cute. Oh my god, really? Okay, all my cards fell on the goddamn floor. Not all of them, but most. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, something couldn't work out between you and them, player. Uh, to the point where it was like there was just nobody to fight. Like... Like, or somebody, like, left the scene or went in the dark in order not to fight. Once again, going in the dark, right? Uh, mainly because someone was probably hard-headed. They weren't going to change their fucking ways. They're just like, no, this is my way, and that's just how we're going to go. Like a Taurus. Like, Taurus are scary. <laughs> Taurus will bully you into doing shit. They don't give a damn. They already bully. But I love Taurus. They're, like, your favorite friend ever. It's just... Don't argue with them because don't go well. Ugh. Then we got this dude right here. Damn. Like, is this person really about to, like, argue some shit and just be like, no, I don't give a fuck what the right or moral thing to do is. I'ma come cut ya. I'ma find some information out. But, well, they don't do anything about it. They don't... <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Holy shit. I'm almost better. Thank goodness, because, like, I was suffering. Oh, my God. Anyway, um, they might ultimately walk with their feelings. You could be sitting there, Queen of Pentacles, little Miss Fanny Mae, a lover. You know, sitting there watching the sunset, like, uh, this is peaceful. However, something dramatic fucking happens that creates a disaster and leaves someone sitting here like, where the fuck are you? Who's doing this? Who, like, is some action is taken, and someone's like, where the fuck are you going, or what are you doing, or something. Like, they're waiting for somebody to come back. Or some action's taken because someone wants to go looking for somebody. Because they don't see him anywhere in their yard, and it's just like, where is this bitch? Where is she? Well, player, you might end up meeting somebody different if this uh, NPC doesn't step up. And that's why they're wondering where you went to. Like, you were serenaded them at one point, right? Down below... Someone wants to come back out of the cold with the hidden treasures and enemies, right? That whole, like, feeling left out and stuff, trying to get back on your feet. Um, some secrets probably came out with that, too. Or maybe it was the secret, I feel like, more than anything. I think it was the actual secret that someone wants to come back in after all the shit. Because they're already tied up in their own head with their own... Like, they're not... It's like... This person can't communicate because they don't know what to say. You know, they're, they're tongue-tying themselves trying to think of the right thing to say or do. Hmm. Someone might get cut out with the Queen of Swords player. You might have to cut it out. Or, hmm. Well, someone's ignoring her intuition. I feel like if players, if like, it might be a hidden treasure to learn that this person feels left out in the cold without you, but I feel like the en enemy, once again, is your bad judgment if you choose to use it because it's like someone's ignoring your intuition. Someone's ignoring the high priestess. Could be like Pisces energy right there. Then we got like the queen of swords. This is the counterpart to the king of swords, of course, but still, it's like a... Yeah, it's like I was saying earlier, it's like you don't know how to take them because, like, you need time to think. It's just like, it's almost like, mmm. Uh, 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 okay, 
I, I think of like a, a narcissist, right? When you're in a relationship with them for years and years. What usually happens is once you finally get away from them, you start to notice that you actually picked up a lot of their fucking traits. And then it takes work to like get out of that. But sometimes we confuse people who are just people with narcissists too. And maybe you don't realize that they're being that way initially, but they do something and they do something for so long that the next time you approach them, you are extremely cautious because you're just like, I know all your tricks. I know all the things you're doing. I know how shady you can fucking be. I am, I have an eye on you because I don't fucking trust you. I know you motherfucker. You can be feeling this way about this um, NPCs right here. Players where you know that, but you might be ignoring your intuition. This might've been someone who was just doing fuck shit and was immature and didn't realize what they were actually doing until like well after and they could be approaching you now trying to give an olive branch but it freaks you out because like being nice is what got you into this bullshit to begin with like them being nice to you is what got you into the bullshit but at the same time i feel like they actually genuinely want to um hang with you players it's not like a whole um my pal my fucking holy stick went out whatever the fuck it's called holy saint holy stick um, holy shit what's the difference uh, it's a stick that burns and then goes out for no reason <laughs> but yeah it's like um Maybe you dealt with this person for so long while they were being immature and stupid. Or maybe they were listening to the wrong people. And they just, you know, they did whatever and shit right. And now they're back, players. And they want another chance with you to make things right, possibly. And this freaks you out because you don't know how to take it. But then after a while, you think about it and it's just like, oh my god, like... They were trying to actually be nice to me. And you might not have even realized that because you weren't using your intuition. Or maybe you weren't sure to begin with. Your enemy might just be your bad judgment calls. Alright, final boss in their weakness, which is, I think, your judgment, players. You know, this shit's been over a long time ago. Mm. There was a decision to be made, a dealt with emotion. And it feels like it would just be another... It, it, it's like it, it, it's like there needs to be a decision to be made because this shit's gonna keep going in a fucking loop, players. You might actually have to talk to this person, or they don't know how to talk to you. One of the two. But this is wrong right here. It's like it's almost like your judgment is like should i just leave this dead or should i repeat a, a, a cycle that's never going to end and i feel like you're looking at it wrong you know once again someone tried to show you that they didn't want to be out in the cold anymore and you were a little bit defensive with it because you didn't understand what was happening you might not have even been around this person in such a long time that you don't know how to read them anymore too so take that into consideration you know all right, spoils, item drops, and rewards of this King of Swords, right? The truth. He is spewing, he is seeking, he is searching, he is cutting bullshit out. One of which is someone needs to stop making their fucking candle brighter than the sun. Nobody cares about your truth. They care about the, the truth. That's the first thing this King of Swords is, uh, is saying here. You know. He just wants to be happy and old and pet his dog and be like, you're the good boys. Yes, you are, you know. Um, but then we got the queen of wands right here with her back turned and all aggravated, like holding her breath and shit. Hmm. Hmm. Like, she's, her back is turned and she's all pissed off. I think she, I, I think with this Queen of Wands, yeah, she's going to stand over here all proud and tall. But in reality, it's like, 
you know, I think you trusted them like they were a loyal dog or they looked at you like a loyal dog and then probably like did a queen of wands and probably hit you with something or threw something. I don't know. That every, It's all possible in the wild world of wacko. Anyway. Clarification. All right. Two cards each. And then we go explain the next chapter. Yay. All right. So... The energy guiding you, what will it lead to? Well, you could definitely harvest now and come back later. It, 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 there's no rush, honestly. He's just like, this pentacle is just full for me. I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna come back to this shit when I think that it's ready. And I think that's what you're ultimately trying to do before engaging with this NPC. Cause uh, you know, hmm. I feel like you don't wanna be greedy. But I don't know, because that's the Queen of Pentacles. Very vain, very opportunistic, very materialistic um, as well with this. All right, so I'm dropping one more because it's like, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Seriously, players, you could be an Earth sign. Because I feel like someone has the wrong fucking idea about you. Or they did. Like, they came off their drugs to realize that. It's like, oh shit. Or, maybe what somebody left behind was a really bad legacy. And someone else needs to get out of that mentality with it. You know, don't drag that shit out, you know. But whatever. Let's see. The influencing the energy, all right? What comes from it? Uh, well, there's really not much communication going on between you and the NPCs as much as it's going on between yourself or themselves. No one's talking to anybody. It's leading to, it, yeah, it's not leading to anything at all. Like... I feel like this NBC would make you feel like shit, too. Just because they would have the opera. Like, I feel like if you actually opened up to them players, they would start out by making you feel like shit just to make themselves feel better, even though I think they're the ones who were kind of hung up on the bullshit. Uh, I don't know, but it's a lack of communication. Like, they want to make it... Like, there's an offer to be made, but someone's staying stuck in themselves, and it's not it being given. So it's like, the fuck, you know? What the NPCs see, what happens after that? Um, that you're probably going to end up bitter and there and there's not going to be any more excuses to be had. Hmm. Like there's not an excuse to be a bitter bitch anymore? You can't have a reason for it, player? Or that's what they're seeing. Like you don't have, like you're not sending out any more reasons for why you're being bitchy. You might have a reason to be though. You know, hint, hint. <laughs> All right. You know, you 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 try to delegate with people, but it's like you don't know if you you're gonna survive falling off the cliff because you kind of fucked up a little bit, right? However. Justice is here, and damn it, St. Michael will blow his horn to keep you from falling off of that cliff. So that's always good. Aggro triggers. What happens after they get triggered? They might actually want to work with you. Holy shit. And, mmm. But they feel like they'd be doing you a favor. Like I said, they're not going to... Like, they'll want to work with you, but they're not going to give you very fucking much, if not the right kind of stuff either. Uh, or they expect that from you. There's there's a lot of fucking earth. Like, they think... Like, I don't know. Maybe you treated them like they were fucking stupid or something. 
Because I'm kind of getting that. Which I don't know why anyone... Like, there's nothing wrong with being stupid. Being stupid is an advantage. You know, you can manipulate better. You can convince people that you're a much more friendlier person. You know, being stupid is much more of an advantage than being smart. When you're smart, no one fucking likes you because you're too realistic. Or you don't deal with emotions or some other bullshit, right? I don't want to be stupid and smart... Especially, you know, I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'm probably dumb because dumb people don't know how dumb they are. But I feel like this person, I feel like players, your NPCs, they want to work with you. But they feel like you make them feel small, which is like, oh, okay. Like you don't treat them right. Like they want to work with you, but, you, but they think you don't treat them right. All right. So, cheat codes and walkthroughs. What happens after this? Someone definitely has to walk away from a, had to walk away from a situation. Hmm. Players, you might feel like your NPCs walked away from you even when you did everything for them. Granted their wishes, took care of them, fed their fat ass, you know. And then they just walked away in a huff. But then they expect you to come back with like the the, the page of wands reverse like before. Like you're gonna run your mouth. They really expect you not to respect them. And it's just kinda like, what the fuck, dude? Like, ugh. Ten levels, bonuses, or influences. You can manipulate things and then just sit back and watch. <laughs> what? 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 Okay, wait. Wait, wait. Oh, hold up. What? Let me look at all of this right here. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this person, like, the NPCs, right? I Or you. Both of you have the potential to manipulate shit and then sit back and watch the magic happen. Which is fucked up, but that might be to your advantage. Bitch almost looks like the magician too. Okay, if you're trying to attract this NPC back, like... You might even be, or this NPC might be pulling this on you. They might be pulling the jealousy card, trying to get someone to fight over them, or you might be trying to get two people to fight over you. Whichever one, but it, it's easily manipulated at this point in time, players. Let's see. Hidden treasures and enemies. Ah. Someone wants to leave on the boat, and it'll work. Someone wants to travel with a group of companions, and that'll work. I think you, I think players, you would go back to this person or people or they would definitely come join you and it probably would work out, but I feel like they just don't know who the fuck you are. Alrighty. Sorry, I kind of zoned out for a second. I don't know why. Uh, I just thought of something that uh, somebody said, because you, I don't know why. I always think that people don't get how I work sometimes, because I'm used to that. And then when someone figures something out about me, it just fucks me up. And then it's just like, what? How do you know this? How did you figure this out? Who are you and who sent you? Beast? Anyway, okay. Uh, the, the final boss and their weakness. What comes up after? Won't be crowning anybody else with a victory if you follow this mentality. But you'll be able to let the sword drops and heal. You might not be vi victorious in this. Possibly right now, players. But you got the King of Pentacles reverse up here. And he's more industrial. So it's like, uh, bitch, where's my money? You know? Spoils, item drops, and rewards. The Wheel of Fortune will turn and someone will put their swords into a calmer place. 
You've reached that calm place. You left your swords on the boat, but you're carrying two other people's, which is like four swords, and it's like, holy shit. Hmm. Alright, let's look at this, uh, aftermath with this King of Pentacles, right? And then we will be done. Then we can go to bed. Yay, because I do want to go to bed. Okay, it's King of Pentacles. Yeah, someone is on the move to not let anything change. Because they have a problem with letting shit go. Mm. Interesting. Alrighty. So, players, that was the reading. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will see you next time. You guys be good. Love your faces. Bye-bye.